Hello, I'm Dean Owens from the Channel 5 News, and I'm here with your story tonight. Reports saying that the men involved with the robbery at the Boston Tea House have been- What? Uh, oh, oh, uh, yes, yeah, get cameras out there now! This just in, we found out that General George Washington is leading French and colonial men to Yorktown. Our lead reporter, Greg Benson, is on the scene right now. Gre yes, I am Greg Benson, and I am here in front of Yorktown, where a battle is about to take place. We have intel that Washington's army is attempting to siege Yorktown. The battle is about to take place, and I should probably- no! Well, Greg's dead. Oh no! No, I don't want to get in there! I am John Robertson, and I am here to report the fight between the French alongside the colonial troops as they face off against the British. Thank God, we actually have a legitimate reporter. What are we going to do with all those bodies that we have stored up of? Is my mic on? Yes, sir. I hear you loud and clear. Hello and welcome back to the Channel 5 News. The siege of Yorktown is still going on and it's still as chaotic as before. Uh, it's not actually not that bad out here, Dean. Uh, it's actually uh, pretty nice. Nothing's going on. Can I have a bomb? I think I want to have flair to the news broadcast. Um, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, af I'm afraid we're on air I right said, now. I said, can I have a bomb? So on air! Hey, so... Uh... Welcome to the Channel 5 News. I'm Dean Owens, and I'm here to tell you that the siege has finished. After three weeks of complete and total carnage between the two sides, the colonists and French have finally taken over Yorktown. We have my partner Greg Benson on the newly conquered Yorktown. Yes, I'm Greg Benson here, and I'm here where Yorktown has finally been sieged. After three long weeks of waiting, we have finally done it. We've sieged Yorktown. Finally, we got that over with. 